Hello kids. Welcome back. In today's maths class we will learn numbers from 11 to 20. You already know numbers from 1 to 10. Number 10 is the first number and the smallest number which has two digits which means 1 and 0 together make the number 10. In the number 10 the number 0 is said to be in the ones place and the number 1 is tens place Now what does this mean what is this tens and ones Let's find out with an activity Look at this table I have drawn two columns In this column we will count the number of ones and in this column we will count the number of tens let us count the ones and tens using these blocks i told you that 10 is the first number and the smallest number having two digits that is 1 and 0 so two numbers come together to form the number 10 Now in the number 10 how many ones are there Let's count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 So we know that in the number 10 the number 1 comes 10 times the number 1 comes 10 times so in these two columns we have to fill how many ones and how many tens let's start putting the ones in this column 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so so 10 ones make 10 but we are counting tens on this side and this has become too much so what we do is we count tens in the other columns instead of counting all these numbers as 1 1 1 1 we are going to group them together and make it 1 10 let us make a group of 10 Now here we have a big tower a group of 10 blocks together so how many tens make the number 10 one ten will make the number 10 and how many ones will make the number 10 you see ones here no nothing so we put zero that is why one and zero will make 10 Let us add one more number to this number to find out what number comes after 10. So, let us add 1 1. Can you see? I have kept one block here. How many blocks are here? One. So, we will put the number 1 in this column. And Here we are counting how many tens are there? How many tens are here? One group of ten is here. So we will put number one here. So there is one one and one ten. Together we will get the number eleven. Number eleven. Now. Let us keep this one ten here only, and go on adding ones here to see what more numbers we get. Let us add another one. Now, how many ones are here? One, two. There are two ones, so we will remove this and put the number 
two. So, in the ones column, we have two ones, and in the tens column, we still have one ten. So, the number after eleven is number twelve. One and two makes number twelve. Now let us add one more one. I'm going to add one more one. So now we have one, two, three. Three ones. Three ones and one ten. And this is the number thirteen. One and three, thirteen. We will add one more. Now how many ones are here? Now we have four ones. So the next number is one and four, fourteen. Let's add one more. Now there are five ones. So we will put five. One ten and five ones. Together gives us the number fifteen. We will put another one. Now, how many ones are there? Count the number of blocks yourself. Very good. There are six ones now. Six blocks here in the ones column. So six times one. So we put number six. And we get one ten. Six ones will give us the number sixteen. Let us put one more one here. Now we have seven ones. Seven ones, and still only one ten. Together gives us seventeen. One and seven is seventeen. Let's put one more one. Now we got eight ones. Eight ones and one ten gives us the number eighteen. Another one. Now we got nine ones. We got nine ones, and this is the number nineteen. Now I want to put another one here, but I cannot put it. Why is that? Well, that's because in this column. We can count only ones, and if I put this to this column where there are nine, it will become ten, and I cannot count ten in this column. I have to count tens only in this column. So what should I do with all these ones? What I have to do is I have to add this one here and make another group of ten to put on. This side. I am going to add this one to the nine ones that are here. They will become ten. When they become ten, I have to bring them on this side because they have formed another group of ten. Let me make the tower for you. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ten and ten. So. Because we had nine ones here, and I was putting another one, it would have become ten altogether. And I cannot count tens here. I can count only ones. 
So I made it a group of 10 and I put it on this side. Now, after 19, what number comes, children? What number comes after 19? Let's find out. How many ones are there here? There are no ones. Nothing is there. Zero. And how many tens are here? There are two tens. How many tens? Two tens and no ones. So the next number after 19 is number 20. Can you see children? Number 20. How do we know it is number 20? Because on this side there is 0 which means there are no 1's and on this side there are 2 which means there are 2 10's. So 2 groups of 10 together will give us the number 20. And that is the last number we are learning for today. Number 20. I hope you have all understood the numbers from 11 to 20 and how to count them in ones and tens. Thank you and have a nice day.